Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you a trophy mule deer and a piebald mule deer. But first, we have a trophy white-tailed deer I got during my live stream for the competition called Laura Francine's Recurve Challenge. I hope you enjoy the video. Looks a very nice one though. And look at that, look at that spine at the, at the top there, it's like, wow, that's pretty big. Alright, take it out now. As soon as it stops. I think that was a liver hit, actually. Moved a bit to the left there, but I hit it. And that's all you need with those, as long as you hit them, they're guaranteed to die. So that's a kill. Should be dead now. Oh, there it is. Gotta harvest it. What is it? Score? Better be 170 or over. I mean 180 or over, sorry, come on. What are you? Oh, there we go. I said 190, 186. How about that? That's a beauty, that. That's a really, really nice one. Ah, oh, look! <laughs> That's where the arrow tip is. It went right in. It didn't hit the lungs, though, unfortunately. I don't know why it didn't hit the lungs, but... Yeah. There you go. You reckon I should show the feet in the trophy shot or not, guys? What do you reckon? You reckon I could, like, you reckon I should cut off the feet? Or what do you reckon I should have the feet in there? With the trophy shot, what do you reckon? I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. At least you get more closer, but you cut off the feet. That's the only problem. Okay, that looks alright there. Everything. Well, that's pretty much everything. So there you go. Very nice. First up, we have the piebald mule deer. There it is over there. It's in spook status at the moment, so I'm being very careful actually approaching it, even though I have bone and crocket on. So I notice there's another very big high scoring one that I will take out later on to my left, but at the moment I'm just focusing on this piebald that's in front of me. Actually not a bad scoring one either, 100 to 150, that's pretty good. Just a bit more closer now. Try at 33. It looked like a nice solid hit, but unfortunately the game decides to give me a body hit on that, so I'll track that later on. Next we have a trophy mule deer. This was actually from the same herd. As you can see, there's the piebald that I hit to my right. The arrow's right in his chest too, so I don't know how that's a body hit. But whatever the game gives you, it gives you. So there's our trophy mule deer right behind there. So just wait for it to come out of the forest line. Ah, uh, there we go. 
It predicts 200 to 250, so I can tell straight away it's going to be a very, very nice one. It's looking at me with Bone Crockett on, and Drop killed it with the recurve. Unfortunately, the piebald heard the shot and bleed. So let's go over and collect it. I am in a competition for this mule deer at the moment. Requires a recurve bow hit. It'll pop up on the top left. Laura Francine's recurve challenge. I'm position two at the moment. Here's the trophy shot I ended up with. It was a very hard camera angle for me to position it. So I had to make do. But there you go. Turned out quite nice in the end. After taking the trophy shot of the trophy mule deer, I moved on to the piebald mule deer. I eventually tracked it down. There he is there. Let's go and collect it. It scores 129, so not a big one, but piebald is all that matters. And it just counted as a body hit. I can show you where the arrow went. I don't know how that's a body hit. I think it was at least a right lung. But, oh well. So again, the camera angle wasn't the best to work with. But this is what I ended up with. I think the piebald deer looks very nice with the bone and crocket clothing. That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.